Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Hello, hello, hello. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, share the video, you know, all that good stuff. Go ahead and, uh, you know, feel free to binge watch all the past episodes that I've, uh, uh, that I have reviewed for this season of Drag Race. With all that being said, let's just get into episode six. This is uh, one of my favorite kinds of episodes of Drag Race. This week, the girls have done the girl group challenge. Now, this is a drag race staple. We get one of these girl group challenges every season. It's always a good time. And plus, who doesn't love a girl group? You know what I mean? There was no mini challenge this week, but we did get an extra special surprise because in the beginning of the episode, we had some very special guests. We had the old gays. If you all don't know who the old gays are, you are missing out. So the old gays came along, gave the girls some advice, some tips. Uh, the girls were able to ask them some questions and it was just really nice to see because it opened up a dialogue of uh, something that I've been hearing talked about in the gay community, which is ageism and this obsession with youth. Look into it. It's a great conversation. But anyways, it was really nice to see them on there. And so, why were they on there for the girl group challenge? Because the girls had to compete in girl groups as the Golden Girls. Not the Golden Girls, the show, but as being in, in, uh, in the older years being being a uh, glamour and older so the girls had three different genres that they could choose from and of course rupaul just let them pick their own groups um i'm surprised that with that many queens i mean maybe they cut it out but it seemed like everyone gravitated to their groups of four very easily the three genres that they had to pick from country hip-hop and metal of course i mean like come on there's there's opportunity for comedy and winning and all of those cat in either of those categories but you know it's not drag race if somebody doesn't start arguing about the genre that they want hello <laughs> nobody wanted country so selena estates made a point to say that she doesn't like country she feels like it's only for people from the south and uh, or and, and white people or whatever i understand that she's from the west coast and maybe you know country music is not her thing and not that everyone from the south is into country music but to to say that's a white people thing i don't it kind of for me it felt a little ignorant so what happened was you ended up with two groups that really wanted metal so the first group that really wanted metal was the group with Lux, Marsha, Mistress, and Selena. And the other group was the group with Aura, Malaysia, Sasha, and Spice. When those two groups started arguing with each other, oh, the third group immediately was like, well shit, if they argue, we'll just go ahead and we'll just, they were like, we'll take hip hop. So that group, Anitra, Jax, Lucy, and Robin, when they, Hurry up and said, oh, well, we'll take hip hop. I thought that that was very smart of them. It started out like a, you know, a cute key key. They're going back and forth. They're like, well, we want metal and this is why we should do it. And they're like, no, we want to do it. But then it got a little awkward because, you know, there's one, it, it's one thing to stand your ground and say, oh, our group is going to do this and there's nothing you can do about it. And then it crosses the line into bullying, bullying. Then it crosses the line into, okay, this is getting annoying. And then it crosses into the territory of y'all are fighting so hard over this genre. Whoever gets it, oh baby, you better come correct. Because if you get this genre and you don't show out, if you don't turn the party, then what was all that fighting for? Things got a little bit heated between Lux and Mistress and then Sasha and Malaysia. To me, Lux and Mistress were having more of a kiki. Sasha really wasn't like that pressed about it either. Like she was just kind of standing her ground, but she wasn't bitter about it. She was ready to be like, okay, fine. Like we got country, like it's all good. But Malaysia, I feel like she really got her like panties in a bunch. They couldn't decide. So what they ended up doing was, which they should have just decided this a long time ago, they decided to draw names out of a hat. And that's when it was decided that Aura, Malaysia, Sasha, and Spice were going to be rock. 
And then for the country group was going to be Lux, Marsha, Mistress, and Selena Estes. Okay. The girls had to write their own verses for the songs, which is always fun to see who struggles with the lyrics, who goes in saying, oh, I'm doing this and I did that. I've been on Broadway and I, I've recorded 13 albums. I'm a Grammy Award winner. You know, the ones that come in and brag usually are the ones that fall on their face. And then the ones that are kind of like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I'm not good at writing lyrics. They're the ones who end up shining. When it was Robin's turn to record her verse, she just wanted to take a second and she told the producer, she was like, hold on one sec, can I just look over this to, you know, and then it kind of made it seem like, girl, just perform already, like, just do it. I'm like, what was wrong with her wanting to take a second to just, it wasn't like she was stalling. She just, when she got up to the mic, she was like, hold on, give me a second, I want to read over what I wrote, which is normal. I mean, maybe they edited a bunch of time out where maybe she was taking forever to get started, but I'm like, that's pretty common for an artist to want to read over the lyrics before they actually start. For me, I feel like the best group was the country group, which to me, it worked out for them. Like they fought really hard to get metal, but I think it really worked out for them that they ended up with country. Lux turned it out. Selena, who was, she was so worried about doing country, like how am I supposed to do country? She was like one of the best in the group. Everybody in the country gave me the energy that, that I needed. Everybody in country gave me the, the lyrics was there, the energy. I liked the, the look, the makeup was right. I thought that they did the best. Metal group was pretty good. It was, it was fine. I wasn't mad at it. I was like, okay, they, they did good. They fought hard and they they turned it out then it got to the hip-hop group i was like mary like the camera cuts to the judges faces and rupaul's just looking like just just face toe up so you get to the runways right i had to watch the runways twice because it went so fast so we know that season 15 is shorter than nor than past seasons episodes we know that i'm gonna need for them to figure out a way to show the runways a little longer now i'm not like a huge fashion queen a lot of people watch drag race for the fashion for the looks for the runways that's a lot of people's favorite part and i do want to see more than like it would they were the, they went through all of the looks in less than two minutes 12 queens and the runway part of the show was less than two minutes and then i was like okay nobody's looks match so you know they get a theme every week for the runway and this week's theme was tie-dye even after watching it twice i was like what in the world is the theme and when i realized when i heard rupaul say again it's tie-dye i was like baby tie-dye wear i personally only saw like two queens that had on actual tie-dye marcia baby i love i love love you so much and we get it. You're supposed your your whole thing is you're like uh, you're uh, the drag version of Marsha Brady. We get it. But enough with the football thrown at the nose bit. I was so shocked when Lux didn't win. Anybody from the country group, that's who I was expecting to win. In the bottom, you had Robin, which I got because the performance was okay i mean the lyrics were fine the look was cute but it was not season 15 rupaul's drag race episode 6 runway amazing she was just like scared of something I, I i'm like robin like come on girl and aura ended up winning and i was just like how i could have at least accepted sasha and, and i didn't like the runway look at all i didn't like aura's look it gave boy to me and i know that there's drag kings but isn't this a drag queen show it just looked like a guy in a suit so in the bottom you have robin and Jax, and Jax needed to be in the bottom Jax's performance fine whatever but that runway was make it make sense i could have seen a scenario where robin won the lip sync congratulations aura and uh robin can't wait to see more from you 
Break out of your shell, girl. But the real team was in the Untucked episode. This week's Untucked episode was so good. So when the girls are backstage, Malaysia starts to vent about um, how she felt when the girls were arguing about who was going to get metal. And while she's venting, Marsha and Lux are kind of like, girl, but was it that serious? Malaysia starts, she's just going on and on and just crying. And then finally, Marsha was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm tired of hearing about this. Like, we gotta move on. And then Malaysia just like lost it. And like, I get like, no one, everyone wants their feelings and things to be validated. I get all of that, absolutely. But baby, this is a competition show. This is TV, like, why are you going off on this girl? Like Malaysia was, she she was just, girl, get over it. Like, who cares? You're safe. Like, girl, calm down. It's fine. Like, why are you? I think that the pressure is trying starting to get to her and all of this. And Marsha sit there like her little feelings was hurt because Malaysia, man, Malaysia bit her head off. And, but what was so interesting to me was that Malaysia was doing a lot of this when Mistress was not in the room. And then Mistress gets back there and Mistress was like, well, I'm glad, you know, she kind of made it a joke about uh, them ending up with country. And Malaysia was tight-lipped. Malaysia, you, I'm like, now you, all, you don't have nothing to say. Oh, you had all this something to say to Marsha because you knew Marsha wasn't going to say nothing to you. But now you quiet as a mouse because you know Mistress is going to be like, girl, boo, triple boo. But anyways, Malaysia girl, don't get in your head and sabotage yourself. You need to let that stuff go. Let it be water off a duck's back. And baby, it is what it is. It's fine. So I think I've said more than enough about this week's episode. I can't wait to see more. I mean, it's, it's getting juicy. It's, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, follow me everywhere. Okay? All right?